Hey guys, it's MKBHD, and today we're back with a top five features in ice cream sandwich video. So for those of you who don't know, ICS is what we're gonna call it, and it's the latest version of Android 4.0. So we're gonna start with number five, and that's the brand new UI overhaul, the new layout of the home screens, and the brand new custom font just for Android 4.0, Roboto. Overall, I'm a really big fan of this overhaul. They changed the color scheme, first of all, to be like a black and a cyan sort of a blue color. And uh, the contrast looks really good. It's a high contrast sort of thing. Very easy on the eyes. The font is also very easy on the eyes. It gives a very relaxed, professional layout. All the apps that are native with Google stuff, including Google Plus and Gmail and Calendar and everything, have been laid out just for Ice Cream Sandwich, and they look really good. So everything looks really professional and uh, nicely laid out, and that's why it made number five. Number four is the new browser. Now, while it's not Chrome for Android yet, they're kind of going in that direction right now. As you can sync your favorites and your bookmarks from the browser on your desktop to be on your Ice Cream Sandwich device, your tablet or your phone. And you can also have that tab browsing experience you saw on tablets on your phone. So now the Galaxy Nexus can have up to 16 tabs running. You can swipe to exit those tabs and you can swipe through to view the different tabs, pull them up, close them, all sorts of different things. So we've been looking forward to that since it arrived on the Galaxy S2. So now it's built into stock Android and uh, the stock browser is looking pretty good. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Number three is face unlock. Now I could just stop right here and just go like this, but I'm actually gonna explain it to you. Basically, you can go through the security settings and open up the unlock features and go ahead and let it scan your face for a second and then put in a backup code unless you just lose your face or something. Um, but then you can lock your phone and when you unlock it, it'll use the webcam on the front, the two megapixel camera, to just look at your face and just unlock it with your face. It's kind of nice, I know, having the camera unlocked directly from the lock screen and I don't think you get that with the face unlock, but hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to that just because of the possibility of, of the new API, what developers can do with that front-facing camera. Ideas, ideas. Number two, the number two feature is Android Beam. If you guys forgot about that, it's when you can take two ice cream sandwich devices with near field communication or NFC chips in them and touch them together and what app, whatever app you're running on one phone, you can touch to beam to the other phone. Now you're touching the backs together so you can beam one and look at the other and it'll show up. You can beam all kinds of things like map locations or applications or you know YouTube video links say you're watching a video you want the other person to watch if you're if you're using an application that you want the other person to use say they don't want to look through the market just go ahead and tap to beam it and the other phone will have a link to the Android market with that app so Android beam is pretty sick I'm gonna be using it with some of my Android 4.0 buddies down the hall so yeah I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that and numero uno last but not least number one is the new camera uh, I don't know if you saw the camera on the Galaxy Nexus or on the video I did for TLD today where I explain this, all the new features of ICS. Uh, the new camera is pretty badass. You have the ability to take instant photos. Instant shutter is what they call it. Zero shutter lag where you can tap, 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 tap to take photos and they're taking the pictures. You don't have any sort of shutter lag. No animations to slow you down. It's really fast. You also have a built-in panorama mode, so if you have a really wide uh, landscape you want to take a shot of, you start panorama mode, swing it across, and when you're done, hit stop, and it'll stitch it all together, and you got yourself a really wide panorama shot. You can go 360 if you want. And it has built-in 1080p video recording, finally, so every phone with ICS and a capable sensor will have 1080p shots. And built into the gallery is a photo and slash image editor where you can edit your photos add some sort of color effects or some fisheye effects or whatever you want to add to make your photos look cooler before you share them on Google+. Plus. Now I gotta give an honorable mention to hardware acceleration in Android. It didn't make the top five, but I'm really looking forward to that, just bringing the entire experience together as a seamless, very smooth sort of interaction. Brings to the whole professional appeal, so that's the, the side mention of awesome, sexy, so what are you looking forward to in Ice Cream Sandwich, if you're even looking forward to it at all? I know some of you guys are, are looking at me like, well, I use an iPhone, so you know, I'm not looking forward to it. And that's, that's fine. <laughs> but if you are looking forward to Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, what kind of features are you looking forward to? Something I didn't mention, maybe? Because uh, I just want to get hyped up for this. I'm definitely going to be reviewing the device, uh, and I will be picking it up on day one at the Verizon store, two blocks that way. So uh, let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the comments below. And if you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.